There can be many times when most of our phones get locked up. We can't bypass the lock screen mainly because we have forgotten the password. What's up everybody, today in this video, I'll be showing you an amazing method on how to bypass lock screen on pretty much any Android phone out there. Now the best part of using this method is that you will be able to bypass several different screen lock types including pattern, pin, fingerprint, and password lock. Now, we're going to be using Dr. Phone app by Wondershare for unlocking our phones. Now, with this app, you will be able to bypass your lock screen in less than five minutes. Now, guys, before I begin showing you how to use the unlock feature of this app, I want to bring your attention to other features of this app that you might be interested in. So, as you can see, with the help of this app, you can make a complete backup of your device. You can also switch your data from one phone to another. I've also made a video showing showing how to transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone using Dr. Phone app. You can check that by tapping this eye icon up at the top right corner. All right, enough about the app, now let's get straight to the process. First of all, you need to install Dr. Phone app on your PC. You can do that by simply heading over to their website to download the app, or you can check the link in the description of this video that is gonna take you to the download page. After the installation is over, go ahead and connect your phone with your PC. Next, open up the Dr. Phone app and tap on this login icon to enter your credentials. Now, you will get your credentials after you opt the subscription plan of the Wondershare website. I'll talk more about that later in the video. All right, once you have logged in, tap on the unlock button. After that, you have to choose the type of the device you have got. Since I'll be using my Samsung Galaxy Note 5 for this video, I'll go with the unlock and right screen. Next up, the app will start detecting your device and within a couple of seconds, you will be taken to this screen. Now from here you have to check from the drop down menu if the app has got your device in it. If you don't find your device here, go ahead and select I can find my device model from the list above. After that, tap on the next button. And now the unlocking process will begin. Now one thing to note here guys, since my phone's model wasn't listed in the previous step, that means I would have to remove the data stored on my phone once this process of unlocking finishes. Now this is going to take a little while so you gotta be patient during this process. Once the process is over, you will be taken to this screen letting you know that unlocking your phone will have all of your data erased. So I'll recommend you backing up your data before you begin ahead. You also need to have your Google account details if you have logged in your Google account inside of your target device. Now, in the next step, you will be guided on how to get inside of your phone's recovery mode. Since I've got my phone with the home button, I'll be going with this option. All right, at this stage, since you have got your phone already locked up, you can't directly turn off your phone. So you have to force restart your device and that you can do by pressing and holding the power button and the volume up key simultaneously. Now you have to release the buttons once the black screen pops up. Soon after that, you have to press and hold the power button, home button, and the volume up key. Finally, after a little while, you will be taken to the Android recovery mode. Now head over to the PC and tap on the next button. Now here, you will be guided on how you have to format your device and wipe your cache partition. You have to be very careful during these steps as these are quite delicate. Don't press anything other than what you are told over here. So let me go ahead and quickly follow these steps to wipe the said stuff. Once performed the wipe you will get the confirmation messages at the bottom of your screen. Now all you need to do is go with the very first option that will reboot your device. Now this initial boot will take some time but finally you will have your device booted up. Now simply go through the configuration setup and at the end you will have your device without any lock. Now finally guys when it comes to the pricing, Wondershare is offering different subscription plans for Dr. Phone app with varying features. I would recommend you guys to go with the one year license since it's the cheapest one. Anyways, this wraps up the video, hope you all enjoyed. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all next time.